Using SPC and Seek, Ascend performance materials reduce monthly quarantined material by two orders of magnitude. To learn more about this, check out the link in the description. Seek's event identification makes it easy to create SPC and SQC control charts that update control parameters automatically based on the grade or product that is currently being manufactured. By employing run rules, Seek can automatically identify and flag deviations in the process and send email notifications to alert personnel. In Seek, control charts can be shared so everyone involved can be kept informed with near real-time process monitoring. We are currently viewing a Seek Organizer Topic Dashboard for a similar use case, where we have organized the key visuals and KPIs. We can use the high-level tree map visual to understand what is going on over the three different lines in near real time, and use the chart to review the performance over the last week. From the tree map view, we can see there is an issue on line 2. We can scroll down to the detailed trend view and swap the analysis to line 2 to view the current trend. Now we can see more details about the run rule violations. For further investigation, we can click on the visual to navigate to the workbench analysis where it was created. Once we open in the workbench analysis, we can navigate around in time and even add more signals for context. To show how this analysis was done in Seek, we will use a Seek journal feature where we have saved the different steps of the analysis and links. The journal feature allows users to easily document each of the important steps in the analysis so that when it is shared within teams and across the organization, others can understand the method, calculations, and assumptions. We will start from the beginning where we brought in the raw data needed for the analysis. We already have the line 1 viscosity on the trend. To add more data, we will navigate to the data tab where we can search for data from any of the connected data sources, including process historians and LIMS quality data which is where the viscosity data came from. Here, we can add the line one grade code data. For a complete list of supported data sources, check out the link in the description. Next, we will use a seek point and click tool to identify each time the grade code changes so we can create unique control limits for each grade. We have many different tools we can use in seek to identify time periods of interest, quantify key KPIs, cleanse the data, model and predict, import and export data, and use formulas to do simple math or use Seek's library of functions. Here, we will use one of the identify tools to find when the grade code changes. Once we execute this, we will see a series of bars pop up at the top of the screen, identifying each different grade. In Seek, each of these individual bars are called capsules, and together they make up a condition. Capsules and conditions in Seek are an important way to provide context to the data and focus our analysis on time periods of interest. Now that we have identified the different grades, we can build control charts with unique limits for each different grade run. We can do this manually in Seek, or we can use an add-on tool to generate the chart and any run rules we want to flag for deviation. Add-on tools can be built in Seek Data Lab, our Seek Python application, allowing us to leverage Python coding capabilities. You can build your own add-ons or use pre-built add-ons. Check out Seek's add-on gallery linked in the description for the current first and third party add-ons. We can also build in run rule deviations like Nelson run rules or Western Electric run rules to flag when our process is out of control and may need intervention. We can create email notifications for these deviations to alert us when they happen. Now that we have created this analysis once, we can scale it over different lines. You can see here that we have created an asset hierarchy right in Seek Workbench for lines 1, 2, and 3 using a point-and-click tool. Asset hierarchies can also be brought into Seek from a data source connection or created using Seek Data Lab. This asset group allows us to swap the analysis between different lines. Here we have swapped to line 3. We can also use them to swap between different key process parameters within one line. Using an asset hierarchy, we can create high-level visuals like this tree map view. Because this analysis is built on a live data source connection, Seek will continue to bring in new data automatically, calculating the appropriate control limits for each grade run and notifying us when run rules are violated in near real time. Now, we can monitor each of our lines from the Organizer Topic dashboard and be notified via email if run rule deviations are found.